Hey, 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 Leo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your season dose of Love Tarot for Libra season from September 22nd to October 23rd. So, Leo, let's see what's going on for you in the month of September and October, the rest of September through to the end of October. Your overall energy, Leo, is the moon. I'm getting a lot of secrets. A lot of secrets are, I want to say dying, but I don't even know what that means. A lot of secrets are dying. I needed to clarify this right now. I would usually wait. King of Pentacles, it could be about a Taurus. A lot of secrets are dying. It could be dying. Maybe this person knows these secrets. Hmm. Your challenge is the High Priestess. More secrets. Okay, so your challenge is the secrets. To keep the secret. To make sure some sort of secret does not get out. What's in your subconscious is Six of Cups. What's in your recent past that is influencing you now is the Eight of Wands. What is in your future strength? What is in your near future? The Sun, there you are. You're in your future and your near future. Now, what is influencing you on the inside, Leo? The Eight of Cups. What is influencing you on the external temperance? Okay, now what is in your hopes and fears? The Page of Swords. Hmm. What is in your outcome? Is the Knight of Swords. So, very interesting. Ah, I wonder, Leo, is this secret coming out in his reading? Um, we shall see. This is very interesting, Leo. So let's start with clarification of the moon and the king of pentacles. So it could be a secret to do with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, somebody that you may be involved with or will be involved with. Okay, your focus could also be money. There may be a secret about money, okay? Some sort of message, all right? So this could be work or this could be a secret love. Yeah, uh, Seven of Swords. There's something shady going on that you know about um, and it is being kept a secret. It could be a secret love that you know. The Six of Pentacles. Somebody is juggling two people, okay? So, okay, what is crossing you is the High Priestess. Sorry, I was looking at my cards. I'm like, what is crossing you? The High Priestess. Now, the High Priestess is the keeper of secrets. She is somebody who uses their intuition, right? But keeps that to themselves. And does not reveal so this could be representing a Gemini or a Pisces okay that is holding a secret the nine of wands the ten of cups and the world card so your challenge okay is a new beginning in spite of this secret so this secret I feel will be revealed okay it could be revealed about um, somebody juggling two people and this new beginning all right is present is here for you to grab hold of with an individual could be a Capricorn it could be a water sign like I said Gemini Pisces but the reason why this person was juggling this could have been you or somebody else it has to do with their wounds it has to do with worry um, fear of abandonment Whoops, see that? Two of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Fear of abandonment in love. 
So this is a love situation, okay? Now this could be about a work situation as well, something that you love. Uh, maybe you're going to get a second job or something, uh, and you find that this second job is what you love, and it's not something your work knows about, okay? Now, what's in your subconscious is the Six of Cups. This is Pisces energy. So it could be a Pisces that we're dealing with, where this secret comes out. Now, that could be a challenge, keeping it from this Pisces, because Pisces is very, very intuitive. <laughs> so trying to keep a secret from the Pisces is certainly going to be a challenge. I don't think that you are going to keep the secret. Somehow I feel like the secret is uncovered. Now, maybe through intuition, right? Uh, nonetheless, there is a fear here, and that is the reason for the juggling of two. So you have an appreciation for this person. You have a deep-seated love for this person, okay? But you're not sure what to do now with the Seven of Cups. What do you want to manifest, right? I feel like it could be a reunion here. You're looking at your options, but you, you're healing, right? You're looking in your subconscious. You're healing. You're listening for signs from the universe you're listening for signs from your higher self you want guidance i i want to say you desperately want guidance in this situation you want to know what is the next step in manifesting this love back possibly if there was a separation if there was this is definitely uh at the very least a soulmate you have one more. Ten of Pentacles. This is what you want. You want commitment with this individual. You want abundance. You want to build something great with them. This is about building a legacy. This is happiness and family. This is also about loyalty. You see the dogs. I'm also hearing recognition of a job well done. And I feel like that has to do with work. Okay, so somebody is doing, um, you may be doing something that you're getting recognized for in work, that you're doing well. Maybe you're getting a bonus. Maybe you're getting a raise, right? Or again, this second job is helping to bring in income. This is in the back of your mind. This is what you want to happen. This only needs to come forward. Now, in your recent past, Leo, you have the Eight of Wands. And this is what influences your now, this passion for this person, this love for this person. And I feel like you're communicating this love, this passion to the universe because you want it back. Reaching for all that you are, you're reaching for your higher self. You really want to connect with the inner world because you want to know how to how to manifest this queen of cups this is that Piscean energy the hermit Virgo and five of wands so there could have been a lot of conflict inner conflicts okay why is this influencing you because you feel like what you've been waiting for had arrived, but I feel like this somehow ended or is transforming now or will be, okay? Because I feel like you want this back. That's what I'm hearing. I want this back. I want this back because I want growth. There's growth coming off of these wands. You want growth from this passion. You want this passion to even be greater than it was before. And you want to know how to manifest that. So there may be com people competing for this person or for you that is sort of, this could have happened in the past and they got in the way. They got in the way. Could have been a Virgo. 
Okay, so this is all influencing you in the now moment, in here and now. In the future, Leo, you have strength. Now you're gonna need strength, you're gonna need courage to face the past, to face the struggle, to understand you know, how to build on the passion that you already have, how to express to the universe just exactly what it is that you want. Seven of Pentacles, there is a, a need to be patient, right? You even have that in the past with the Three of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune here, your direction will be clear, but you must not stop with this strength card. See, you, you've got to keep on working through it. And this is what's going to take strength. Now, whether this be a work situation or a love situation, it's putting in a lot of energy in order to make things work, in order to master this love that you experience with this person. For those of you there's no love right now there is a Pisces a possible Pisces who could be present and around you or a water sign but in the future you're definitely working on a situation okay and I do feel that it's love I do feel that you want this you want this to bloom yeah you're taking a pause this is a Pisces definitely with the hanged man you're taking a pause and within this pause, there is illumination. There is an understanding of this other person's perspective of the way things went. This is what's going to happen in the future. I feel like you'll be speaking to this person a lot about that. And that it has to do with this work that's put, being put in. And it's going to be put in the right places, Leo. The right places, not the wrong places. So you're gonna be doing this differently because you know that you can't have a different result without looking at things differently and acting on things differently, right? And that is what you and this person will do. In the near future, there is happiness. And I feel like this happiness is stemming from a knowing of what you want. You could have been struggling with what you want for the past couple of years, I'm getting. Five of Swords, right? There could have been fighting, heartbreak. Ace of Wands. So in the near future, I feel like you're healing from this past heartbreak and you're understanding how to move forward. And it's that Queen of Wands and that Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles that you're going to move forward with, right? Now, Again, we have these people, these people. I feel like they're interference, okay? And it, distraction, so be careful of distraction on what you want to accomplish in this love situation. This is between you and them, not everybody else. Um, too, you know, it can be too much when people try to help, even if they have good intentions. This, not so much, this can be jealousy of what you're doing. This can be um, uh, emotionally manipulating. Um, if, like I said, if somebody was competing for this person or you, then they're trying to interfere, they're trying to distract, and they're gonna do anything that they can to, to get this. This is doing anything possible to get what I want. Okay, deception, that's what that is. And I don't feel it's you. What's influencing you on the inside, Leo? The Eight of Cups. So this is the thought of walking away. Uh, if this happened, or walking away from what has been, the way that you did do love with this person the way that you approach love with this person. Yeah, the chariot, the seven of wands, and the page of wands. So you're getting the message things need to move forward in a different way, despite distraction. This person is not balanced. This is what's going to happen if you allow this, these distractions to take place. 
you won't see things clearly in that hangman position. Okay? So stay out of frantic energy. If there's too much going on around you, you have to get rid of shit to simplify. That's what I'm getting. Simplification. Okay? So that you can move forward. And I feel like you will get that message. There will be an optimism which helps with this unbalanced state, this frantic state. They ha he has two different shoes on. Or it's like one shoe and no shoe. Right? He thinks he has the upper hand because he's on the top of the hill, but he really doesn't. Because he's not balanced and aligned with what he should be seeing. He's seeing a different picture, a different perspective which is what the hangman is. So in order to see a true perspective, okay, you must get out of this frantic energy. And this is what's influencing you on the inside. So walking away from that is um, beautiful because that just takes you on to the nine of cups, wish fulfillment, okay? But there has to be, you know, there's free will. There has to be a true desire there. That's what I'm feeling with you, Leo. There has to be a true desire. Temperance is what's influencing you on the outside. And this is all talking about creation. Uh, creation of your life. Lighting the way. Understanding and knowing and seeing the information that you need to see in order to get on your path, your path lighting up. There is a path behind temperance, ending in the sun, and that sun is in your near future. So you will get on your path, despite sadness, okay? Despite, hmm, this is Libra energy, Taurus, Libra, Virgo. There was a Virgo over here in your past. So despite sadness with, these may be people that are interfering, trying to interfere. Yeah, they're mad that you're moving on. This person, this could be the same person, King of Swords and the Empress could be a Libra, uh, or it's a Libra and a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, um, Taurus, Virgo, or yeah, or Libra. So it's like, you see a new vision for you two. You see a new vision in a new way. For some reason, they don't want you to. Why? They want you single. Especially the Virgo. I don't know why. They want you single. Maybe they're interested in you, Leo. They do have underhanded reasons. So know that and use your intuition. You have that high priestess in the center that's crossing you, but that means what? That energy is available, crossing you or not. You can twist that energy and use it the way that you want to unveil what this is. Now, in your hopes and dreams, you uh, your hopes and fears, you have the page of swords. So Leo, looking beneath the surface, to uncover what is longing to get out, what is longing to be expressed, to move forward with this knowing. That is doing the inner research to make a decision, to take an opportunity, okay? And to come together with somebody that you have a strong ass relationship with a strong connection, a strong magnetic connection. This is your hope, but this is also a fear because it can be toxic, but that's if you do it the same way. Choosing to do it a totally different way, totally different way, is gonna give you different results, always, every time, every time. And that is that opportunity the universe is giving you you want to take this opportunity and you're hoping it's going to work out. You're hoping that this decision is going to work out. Perhaps you're choosing between two people and you're like past, present. Is it that? You're hoping that you're knowing this high priestess of the future or your intuition of what is to come is going to be accurate. That this is going to lead you where you need to be. 
But the devil card here is talking about that fear, right? Uh, the devil is temptation, right? So if somebody stepped out, right, you're fearing that that may happen again if it was the other person. If not, if it was you, you're fearing that that may happen again because of temptation. Why do you fear it's going to happen again? Because of partying, so drinking too much, going out too much with friends, um, having, you know, when, when you're drinking and something's there tempting you, uh, that is alluring. When you're drinking, it lowers your defenses, uh, makes you more vulnerable. So putting yourself in that position, right, is going to result in, you know, a possible temptation. And you know this, you're aware of this. Once you're aware of something, a pattern of behavior, you can choose, you can choose to not do it. Then it's a choice. Then if you do it, it's a choice. It's a conscious choice because you know what can happen, right? Again, if you know it can happen, maybe you can go out, but just don't drink as much. Set a, set a limit, right? Doing things differently. You'll end up with a different result. That will minimize your fear, right? So your outcome is Leo, the Knights of Swords. This is listening to your intuition. This is this high priestess in action, right? This is okay i know i got the message i'm going forward this is my hope i've healed this situation from the past and i want to add something new to this combination of their energy and my energy so that it can emanate in a different way and it can nurture that which is around me and become something beautiful become a wish come true right king of cups so you're a match to this individual maybe you didn't recognize the opportunity that was before you or they didn't one of you didn't now because of this knowing you know because you're matching the energy you actually know king of wands it's through this masculine energy believe it or not because you're showing up as the queen of wands over here in that balanced state of being, not being in this frantic energy, Leo, that is actually um, offering you a different perspective. And you're like, oh, wait a minute. I didn't, I didn't really see this cup. Let me go look. That's that work you're putting in, that seven and eight of pentacles, that will pay off. Because with that work comes discovery. And that's the knight of swords, discovery of what's inside that changes the outside discovery of this person mastering the relationship right so it is possible the lovers making the choice you know and this is talking about the past because it really wasn't talking about if you have another option um but for a decision a possible decision over here so i feel like the past is more prominent in your mind than the now so in making the decision to possibly going with the past, I feel like it can be different, but it's got to be a conscious choice, okay, to do things differently. Now, we're going to get a card for advice here. So advice for my Leos. Advice for my Leos. Queen of Hearts. Wearing your heart on your sleeve. Being vulnerable, but with the right person. Right? Not, not waiting to be vulnerable with the Three of Cups. Being vulnerable because you're putting the work in. And understanding your heart and their heart. And that's why you're showing up as the King of Cups as well. It's like you're becoming an Empress or an Emperor. Okay? This is that icing on the cake of your heart, icing on the cake of your heart, okay? Okay, I'm gonna gaze at this to see if, um, if I get any messages from it. So one moment.
Okay, I'm seeing a dog. So, dog to me is a loyalty. Okay, and the dog is in the background. So whoever was disloyal, that loyalty is present within them. It may be in their subconscious, right? It may be something that they need to heal, the reason for the disloyalty, the, the stepping out of a situation. Okay, so this is either you or this person, but this is something to look at. This is also a chance to call the dog in and help you heal your heart and understand your heart okay and do things differently with it because you see the antlers here it's like you're getting different information because you're doing things different leo it's like these antlers are picking up your antenna is picking up different signals from spirit okay so other things are certainly available to you you got a lot of energy a lot of good energy that's available to you to change right so this is Alice never jam today promises that never came to be empty words not living in the now so somebody broke a promise and I feel that this promise was loyalty that's what I feel stepping out right so this is telling me that living in the present moment is the answer for you, right? Not living in the past. You can visit the past to heal the past, but living in the now and enjoying the now, enjoying what's going on in front of you, right? So Leo, I hope that resonated. Like, share, and subscribe. If you are interested in a personal reading, you can go to yoursacredscribe.etsy.com or you can join me live every day and ask a question for 777 in Super Chat or PayPal. You have a good one and I will catch you on the flip side of your seasoned monthly dose of Love Tarot in the sign of Libra. Namaste Leo.